Chad Baker Mazzara. And finish out is Jalen McDaniel and Kaysen Pryor for Northwest. For Chipola, JT Warren, Derek Butler, Tay Knox, Dayton Aubrey, and Zach Bell. No score. Northwest with the basketball. They'll lob it in to Pryor. Pryor to Warren. Back to Pryor. He'll dribble drive to the basket. Shot is up and good. Pryor scores two points. Two to nothing Northwest. This is the rubber match. Both teams tied for first along with TCC. There's a lob inside, a little too tall. Out of bounds for Tay Knox. Chipola's 24 and two, ranked uh, second in the state, eighth in the country. Northwest is 20 and six, fourth in the state, 20th in the country. The identical part is the conference record, six and two. And Chipola won here by one point. Back on the 7th of January, Northwest won at the end of the month at their place uh, by 10 points, 63-53. This is Northwest with the ball tied for three. It's up, it's good, and Northwest has an early lead, 5 nothing. They said that shot was a two for Todd. We played a minute and a half. This is Dayton Aubrey for Chipola. Green shoes and all. Aubrey at the top. Pulls up and pulls the trigger on three. Good. Dayton Aubrey. And it's a four to three ball game. Here come the Raiders. Taryn Todd with the basketball. Pryor. Now Mazzara. Over it goes to Todd. Cross court to Warren. Warren drives, gives to Mazzara. His jumper won't go, and a pushing foul on, on Chipola. Well, coming out of there and spilling on the floor was Kaysen Pryor. It will be Northwest ball. Chipola's got a tie shoe. Homecoming here at the Johnson Center. You're watching Chipola basketball on YouTube. Uh, next game is Wednesday on the road. Uh, last home game is the next Saturday against Gulf Coast. Two o'clock and four o'clock next Saturday. This is Warren. Warren to Pryor. Pryor double team looks down low. Mazzara jumper up and good. 6-3 Northwest. Dayton Aubrey. Aubrey. All the way to the basket strong. Out it comes to Butler. Butler in the lane, the teardrop falls. Butler for two, it's a one point Northwest game. Had some good vittles in the hospitality room. Uh, happened up on some, uh, some sort of salad, it was pretty Good, there's a block by Knox, prior to Warren. Down low they go to Todd, swing that ball over to Mazzara. He'll throw up a shot, no, but a whistle and a foul. On Chipola, Mazzara will go to the line. I don't know who catered it uh, tonight, but again, hospitality room wise, pretty good chow. At the line free throw in the air, good. And that is Mazzara. He's got three points. He'll get another. Seven five Northwest. Steve DeMeo's back in uh, Niceville and he's on the bench. As the head man, free throw up and in. Donnie Tindall's our guy. He's the head engine over that way. Jamil Safadine in the ball game. Cliff Davis is in the ball game. Kendall Moore in the ball game. Gerald Colonel in the ball game. And uh, Paul Green, so five changes for Chipola. Safadine fakes a three. 
and is fouled. Safadine. He should get the ball on the side. Donnie Tyndall in his third season at Chipola, 77 wins at this level. Davis swings it out to Safadine, baseline jumper, the teardrop falls in there. Jamil Safadine with his first points is a one point Northwest game. And here come the Raiders. They're decked out in all black too, black numbers trimmed in white. Broadcaster's nightmare. Here's Pryor. All the way here in the corner, Mazzara. Mazzara gives to Warren. In the corner it goes. That's Todd driving, shooting. Nobody's fouled. And he's going to go to the line. Fouls on Gerald Colonel. We played almost four minutes here in the uh, first half. Great crowd here for homecoming. Young ladies and gentlemen here on the front row. Student sections packed. Free throw is up, it's good uh, for Todd. And he's got three points. Todd will get another. He puts it up there, it is back rim no good. Rebound Chipolo's Paul Green. Green will work the basketball to Kendall Moore. The Dayton, Ohio native will work it to Green. Green to Safadine. Safadine back it goes to Moore. And there's a whistle down low as uh, Pryor goes down. I think a foul on Chipola. Blocking foul. It's Gerald Colonel, his second quickly. I mean, we have played just merely four minutes. He's got to come out. And Tay Knox back in the ball game. Marcus Nyblack out of Leesburg, Florida will bring the ball down. Transfer from Eastern Tennessee. This is him, Nyblack. Over to Warren. Cross court, threw it away. Pass intended for Pryor and almost hit the homecoming court. 9-7, Chipola trails. And here's Kendall Moore. Moore across the timeline. Moore. Spins, needs to get it away, does Safadine. Dribble drives to the basket, left it short. Rebound green. And he stepped on the baseline. And that ball's going to Northwest. I don't know where Northwest come up with these black uniforms. Now, I tell you, their trim around the numbers are better than the uh, last year jerseys I saw. But uh, black uh, jerseys, black numbers trimmed in white, a little thicker on the white, so I'm able to pick it up a little better. Enough about that. Here's Pryor, double team, and he'll throw it away. Safadine will take it away. He's in the lane, down low to Green. Green's left. It's up. It's good. Paul Green for two. We're tied at nine. Here come the Red Raiders. Nyblack with it. Over it goes to Pryor. Back to Nyblack. Back to Pryor. Skip pass over here to Mazzara. Pull up short corner. Good for two. Mazzara was six. 11 to nine's our score. Northwest. Kendall Moore brings it down. Moore works to Green to Safadine. Safadine to Moore, to Cliff Davis for three. We need it and got it. Cliff Davis. Davis for three and the Indians have a lead. First lead of the night, here's Nyblack. Nyblack at the top, in the corner he goes. That's Mazzara, pull up jumper, rolls out. Rebound Northwest in the lane. And they'll skip pass over there to Pryor. Pryor dribble drive. Uh, looks down low, we take it away. Tay Knox got a hand on it, more down the floor. Little stop, little start. He is giving it up in the corner. And Paul Green looks for help. Green to Safadine, 
thought about a three now. He'll dribble, he'll drive, he'll leave it down low, and there's a whistle, and there is a foul on Northwest. And it looks like we got a timeout on the floor. 13.52 left to go first half, and it is a one-point lead for Chipola as you watch Chipola basketball on YouTube. Thirteen fifty-two left to go in this first half. Homecoming here on the campus of Chipola College. Seventy-five years of excellence for Chipola, both in academically and athletically. Twelve to eleven, Chipola. Safadine inbounds, reverse layup, good, and that's by Cliff Davis. 14 to 11. Here is Northwest with the basketball. Driving is Nyblack to the basket, left it short, rebound, Aubrey. Coming down the floor across the timeline. Dayton all the way, leaves it down low. Reverse layup, good. And that's JT Warren, timeout. Timeout is gonna be Northwest. 16 to 11, 13, 22 left to go in the first half. Timeout, you're watching Chipola College YouTube. Thirteen twenty-two uh, left to go here in the first half. Northwest trailing now Chipola, 16 to 11. This is Northwest with the ball. And Nyblack works between the two rings. Over he goes to Simpkins, back to Nyblack. Down along the baseline, Simpkins, Nyblack. Cross court it comes, Mazzara for three, good. Mazzara now with nine points. And it's a two point game, 16-14 Chipola, 12-48 left. In women's action, uh, Pensacola upsets Gulf Coast by two points. This is Aubrey driving, leaving it up for J, uh, J.C. Curry and he travels. Curry off the bench out of Hartwell, Georgia. 16-14, Chipola, let's let, set the floor for you. That is J.C. Curry, wearing number three. J.T. Warren, number one, 24, Zach Bell. The Jamil Safadine, 23, and number 10 is Derek Butler. 
Northwest with the basketball, Nye Black. Nye Black to Todd, dribbles, bottled up, spins away, puts it up, short, taps it up, no, rebound Chipola, JT Warren. Down the floor, Bell. Bell to Safadine, lowers his shoulder, drives, sticks it up, nope, but he's fouled. And Jamil will go to the free throw line. A 75% marksman, 26 out of 35 this season. Jamil averages 10 points a ball game. Uh, the sophomore out of Denver, Colorado. Free throws in the air, good. Safadine with three now. Seventeen, fourteen, free throw up, and it's good for Safadine. The score I just gave you was for men's, not ladies. A two point uh, Pensacola win over the Gulf Coast men. Still an upset. Pensacola had not won a ball game, uh, best I can recall. Gulf Coast just two and six now, make it two and seven. The bottom dwellers in the conference. 18 14, Chipola by four. Here's Nyblack. Pull up and shoot it. Rolls out. No good. Rebound. Battle for one by Chipola. Albrecht comes out of the pack. Lays it up. Nope. And a charging foul on Dayton Albrecht. Indians by four. 18 14. 11 42 left. Paul Green's going to check in. Curry's out. Davis is in, Aubrey's out. Here come the Raiders. Nye Black inbounds to Taryn Todd. And here is Northwest, Todd with it, Nye Black now. Back to Todd, dribble drive to the basket, run over an Indian, charging on the Northwest team, Indians by four. And with the ball. Eighteen is our score. Here comes Jamil Safadine. Safadine to Warren, to Bell, back to Safadine. We lead by four. Warren, top of the circle, down low. Yes, Bell, Bell reverse layup. Let the defense go by, did Bell. It's 20 to 14, then use that rim to shield off the defensive player. Nice basket. Here are the Raiders, Nye Black with it. Nye Black works now over to Banks, who's in the game. Banks, he'll give it up to Warren for three, no good. They've got a Colin Warren, we've got a JT Warren. And here's Cliff Davis for three, bottom. Cliff Davis. 23-14, Chipola by nine. Nearing the halfway mark of this uh, half. Here is Nyblack losing the ball. Davis, a four on two break. Dishes down to Bell, Bell's layup, no. Tapped up and uh, no. Rebound, Northwest. Boy, we blew a good chance there. Here's Nye Black, Marcus Nye Black. Top of the circle and there's a foul on Bell. Bell restricting his movement. And we are halfway through this first half, 10 minutes gone. Indians with 23, Northwest with 14. Chipola led by Cliff Davis is seven, four for Safadine, nine for Chad Baker Mazzara. Butler's gonna check in for Chipola. Derek Butler. Butler, our leading scorer with 11 for the season. Not black for three, back rim, no. Tapped up and slammed in uh, by Mazzara. Mazzara's having a game, he's got 11. It's a seven point Indian game. Zach Bell 
Bell gives to Davis, fakes a three, dribble drive in the lane. He's fouled on his way to the basket. The uh, whistle and a timeout. I believe that's your media timeout. 23 for Chipola, 16 for Northwest. You're watching Chipola basketball on YouTube. And welcome back. The Indians are looking to inbound the basketball. And it comes in to Butler, top of the circle. Butler, dribble drive, leaves it out to Zach Bell. Bell down low. Paul Green, he's hammered, no call. Down. Oh, wow, they call traveling. Listen to this crowd. I mean, he is hammered down there. Twenty three sixteen Chipola with the lead, but Northwest with the ball. Nye Black brings it down. Over he goes to Warren. Back to Nye Black. Now to Mazzara. To Nye Black to Warren. In the corner prior. Doubled up. Skip pass tall, but corralled. Top of the circle. Looking low, down low. Shot is up, rolling out. As missing that shot was Tavion Banks. Here's Chipola in white shirts. There's a long one by Butler. Bingo! Derek Butler cans the three. Indians by 10. And here's Northwest. Mike Nyblack lost it, spun, and the ball kind of spun with him and spun out of bounds. Chipola ball. Ten point game. Chipola by ten. Eight thirty six left in the half. All the halftime festivities will be at halftime. All the homecoming festivities. I know that didn't sound right. Will be at halftime. Aubrey in the corner. Whistle. Not sure what that was. They're not indicating a foul. Yes, they are. Foul is on Colin Warren. It was away from the ball. 26-16, Chipola. What a great crowd here tonight. Boy, the upper deck is, is full as well. Just a few seats on either side, and that's it. Here's Aubrey looking to inbound. Safadine's open. He's in the wing. Safadine to Butler. Butler gives it to JT Warren. Warren to Safadine, Fogs a three, it's gonna be off the mark. Got his own board, stick back, good. Safadine saw that it was uh, an errant shot and a rare follow his shot uh, by most players, but Safadine was Johnny there on the spot. 
How about Jamil on the spot? 28-16, Chipola. Nye Black at the top. Over it goes to Mazzara. He's been their leading scorer here in the ball game with 11. And they'll dish it out. Back it comes. And that's Mazzara, top of the circle, spinning, shooting, shot, no. But he's going to draw the foul. So Chad Baker Mazzara will go to the line. Santa Domingo, Dominican Republic, by way of San Diego State for the Raiders. This Raider team has several transfers. Colin Warren's from McNeese State, the Cowboys. Nye Black came from Eastern Tennessee State. Taryn Todd came from New Mexico. Mazzara came from San Diego State. That's him at the line. Free throws up and good. He's got 12. And finally, Kaysen Pryor's from Boise State. So Coach Steve DeMeo, he's been on the phone for sure. Another free throw for Mazzara, good. He's got 13 and it's a 10 point Indian game. 7.46 left in the half. Here's Aubrey bringing it down. Safadine left alone for three, back rim. Rebound Chipola to Warren, back over to Safadine but too tall and couldn't get it. And it'll be Northwest ball. DeMeo. Here comes the inbound pass. Coach DeMeo right in the path of the inbound pass. Had to wait on him. Finish his point. And this is Todd with it. Todd will work over to Banks. Back to Todd. Down low prior. And we foul him. And man, that's Colonel just got back in the game and now three fouls on Gerald Colonel. He has got a, he, we won't see him for a while. Head fake by Pryor got him up in the air. And uh, Gerald Colonel now three fouls has yet to score in the ball game. Gerald's a, a good player for us. Going to the line is Kaysen Pryor out of Chicago, Illinois, by way of Boise State. Free throws up and good. He's got three points. Pryor's a big fella, 6'10", 200 pounds. Got him a headband out there too. Free throw rattles in, he's got four. And it's an eight-point Chipola game. Let's go get a basket. And coming down with the ball is Derek Butler. Butler to Safadine. They trap short of half court. Aubrey now with it in the lane to the basket. Shot block foul. You can hear the skin up here. And Aubrey should be at the line with two shots. Dayton Aubrey, sophomore 6'2", 180 from the Bahamas. Aubrey will go the line. He makes 68% of his free throws. He's averaging 10 points a ball game. Also a 37% three-point marksman. Free throw up, back rim no good. Aubrey with three points tonight. He'll get another. Aubrey free throw, good. Dayton now with four points. And here comes Nye Black. Nye Black top of the circle, in the lane, won't shoot it. They've got in Trevin Bird, our first look at Trevin, where's number 21, has the ball now, shoves it down low to Todd and Todd scores. Five for Todd, it's a seven point game. 29-22, Safadine goes around the defense. JT Warren back to Safadine, fakes a three, back to Warren. Warren goes baseline, he will flush it in. JT Warren now with four. Didn't see any between, anybody between him and the bucket. And that's what a coach likes to see. Take that thing downtown. 31-22, Bird 
to Pryor for three, no good. Rebound to Apola. Warren to Aubrey. Lob it down low, stolen by Northwest. Down the floor to Bird, off his hands. It's loose, and let's see, they're gonna say it's off of Bird. Indian ball, here comes some subs. 6.02 left, Indians by nine. And on the floor for Chipola, Tay Knox, Paul Green, Cliff Davis, Jamil Safadeen, and Kendall Moore. Northwest picking them up man to man and full court. Somebody's got to flash the ball. And there's Knox, he'll try to throw it off of Raider, did not. He threw it away, trying to clang it off of Raider. And it's gonna be Northwest ball. So a little switch in defense by DeMeo. Caught us off guard, no one flashed to the ball. Here's Northwest. And he will work it up top to Nyblack. Down low, uh, catching that ball out of defense uh, was Banks. There's a three on the way. No, rebound prior, stick back try. No, tapped up and in though uh, by Simpkins. 4-2, his first two. Seven point game, Chipola, 535 left. First half, battle for first. And driving is Moore. Moore will give it up to Davis. Shot, no, long rebound belongs to Northwest. Nyblack running the length of the floor, then dishes over to Simpkins, his three try, no, but rebound Northwest to Nyblack for three, no, rebound Chipola, Cliff Davis. Cliff doesn't have the numbers, takes it anyway, puts it up, no, rebound Chipola, Safadeen. He'll put it up, no, rebound Northwest. Goes off an Indian out of bounds, Northwest ball with five minutes left in the first half, Chipola by seven. Here comes the fresh faces. All oh, but Safadine, he's gonna stay in. Tomalovicius will check in. Martinez, Tomalovicius in the game, along with JT Warren, Jamil Safadine, Zach Bell, and Dayton Aubrey. Coach Tindall keeps fresh legs in there at all times. Here's Northwest with the ball, Todd. Todd works to Mazzara. Mazzara over to Pryor. Pryor down low, turned it over. Warren threw it to Malavichius, came up with it. We need to help him, we do to Warren. Down the floor to Aubrey. Aubrey will go cross court. And that is Safadine. Safadine, a little teardrop move, won't go. Rebound won by Northwest, they're running. Down the floor, Pryor. A lob and a miss, a tap and a miss. But Northwest comes out of the pack with the basketball to Pryor in the corner. Back to Pryor. Out front, that's Todd. Seven point Indian game. Mazzara for Northwest there in black. Chipola in white. Pryor. That's Mazzara to Pryor. 4 3, bottom. It is a four point game. Indians led as much as 12. Here's Safadine in the wing. Safadine works to Aubrey. Aubrey dribble, drive to the basket. No, got his own board, stick back. Yes. Aubrey with six. Indians by six. Three and a half left. Here comes Todd in this first half. Here's Todd for Northwest. Pryor feels it, wants another three. This one back rim. Rebound uh, is gonna go off an Indian out of bounds. I think Tamalovicius battling with the boards. Paul Green's in. So is Tay Knox, Tamalovicius. Gets a hand for about a minute's work. Timeout on the floor, 322 left in the half. Indians by six. You're watching Chipola basketball on YouTube.
Three minutes and change left to go in the first half. Indians by six. Good entertaining basketball game tonight. Russell here with you. Jalen and Eric behind the scenes over there. Watching YouTube. Chipola taking on Northwest. Chipola in white, Northwest in black. And there's a whistle away from the ball. And the foul is going to go against uh, Zach Bell for Chipola. One and one opportunity coming the way for Tavian Banks for Northwest. Banks from Kansas City, Missouri. Freshman 6'7. Super Bowl tomorrow. Philadelphia and Kansas City. Free throws up and in. Should be a good ball game. 5.30 start. Everybody's got their favorite. Banks, I'm worried about commercials and what we're going to eat. Free throws up, back rim no good. Rebound though, Northwest. As McDaniel got aboard, Jalen McDaniel into the game and got a rebound. Here's Northwest driving, shooting good. Nice basket that time by Taryn Todd. He's got seven. Boy, this gap is tightening up. It's a three-point game. Chipola with the ball, Zach Bell. Safadine between the rings. Safadine. Aubrey. Spinning in the lane, pulling up a shot, rolling out. Rebound, Chipola, Zach Bell, or that's Green rather. And he is fouled. Foul on McDaniel. Paul Green goes to the line. Free throw, good. Three points for Paul. Green's averaging eight points a ball game, 71% from the line. Free throw, good. We needed them both and got them. Four for Paul. Green out, J.C. Curry in the game for Chipola. It's a five-point Indian game. Go, I want to call them, that's Northwest Florida. That is not Gulf Coast out there. Here's Northwest with the ball. And that's Taryn Todd. Todd's in the lane. Bottled up. Dishes out to Mazzara. Pass down to Banks. Banks uh, threw it off an Indian out of bounds. Pass intended for McDaniel. 216 left in the half. Todd will inbound. And he'll lob it. It'll be caught 
by Mazzara. Seven to shoot it, six. Mazzara, does he know it? He'll throw it away. Picked off by Tay Knox to Aubrey. Aubrey. With two minutes left in the ball in the first half. Aubrey. Short corner, won't shoot. Safadine, head faking. He's driving. He is throwing it away. Was going to leave it with Tay Knox, but Mac Daniel stepped in the way. This is Todd all the way to the basket. His nice layup look is good. Todd with nine. It's a three point game again with a buck 30. Left in the half, Cliff Davis. Spinning, working, getting it out to J.C. Curry. Curry in the lane. Safadine to Aubrey. Aubrey at the top. All the way to the basket. Aubrey's layup, good. Eight for Aubrey. <coughs> and it's a five point Indian game. 108 left in the half. Taryn Todd. The Canadian with the basketball. Top of the circle, Todd throws up a little runner, won't go, rebound Aubrey. And Chipola under a minute of play. Aubrey kicks it to Cliff Davis for three. Front rim no good. He got his own board. He'll look now to Aubrey. Aubrey for three, no. Rebound, Northwest, Warren with it. Warren will give it to Mazzara. Mazzara looking down low. Back to Mazzara, and he puts it in. Mazzara with 15. Whistle and a timeout. Three-point lead, Chipola. 27 seconds left in the half. He wants to set up an offensive set. Back with that as you watch on YouTube. Twenty-seven ticks left in the first half. Indians ball, shot clock's dark. Here are the Indians, Cliff Davis to Dayton Aubrey. Indians by three. Aubrey across the timeline, needs help. And he stepped across the line. No, there's a pushing foul. I th he was so close to the half court stripe, I thought we may see over and back. But a foul on the Raiders and we're gonna send Dayton Aubrey to the line again, 68.8% from the line. It's a one and one, so we gotta hit the front end to get the back end. Dayton Aubrey with eight points uh, in this game. Free throw, good. Make it nine. Seven for Cliff Davis, six for Jamil Safadine, four each for J.T. Warren and Paul Green, and two for Zach Bell. For Northwest, 15 for Chad Baker Mazzara, seven for Kaysen Pryor, and nine for Taryn Todd. Free throw, good. Aubrey with 10, 17 seconds left. Let's pay defense. We got a five-point lead. Let's get a stop. And this is Nyblack with the ball. Nye Black works over to Mazzara to Nye Black, and we foul him on his way to the basket. Donnie Tyndall just says, guys, we're gonna give up points. He's telling his guys what he wants on the offensive end, but Nye Black is going to the line. He has not scored in tonight's game. Free throw is up and good. And they just change that. Nye Black, 82% from the line. 
Northwest has four players, count at five, who average just over 10 points a ball game. Four over 10, one at 13. Nye Black missed it. Four point game. Here's JT Warren, crossed the timeline, had it knocked away. Nye Black throws up. It will not count, and that will end the first half. She pull up by four, 39 35 here at halftime. You're watching Chipola College Basketball on YouTube. If anyone in your family attended Chipola, please stand. Welcome back to Chipola College and go Indians. And now at this time, we would like to present the homecoming court of Chipola College for 2023. The first freshman attendant is Olivia Clemens. She is the daughter of 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 the daughter she is the son of Reginald Jones and Kadir Baker of Marion. Cameron is active in the Trio Society. He enjoys wildlife and going to his English class. Cameron is a nursing major and he plans to transfer from Florida State University to complete his degree so he can one day become the director of nursing at a major hospital. Olivia Clemens and Cameron Jones. The second freshman intended is Audra Phillips. Not to buy a fashion and Christian Matthews. She is the daughter of Ken and Natasha Phillips of America. Audra is involved in cheer in the fellowship of Christian athletes. She enjoys playing pickleball, tennis, swimming, and playing with her pet bunny and spending time with family. Audra is majoring in science education and she plans to transfer to Florida State University to complete her degree. She is escorted by freshman Trenton Pilcher. Sponsored by Bobby Bennett Travel. She is the son of James and Lynn Pilcher of Bennett. Trent is involved in Bobby Bennett Travel, honors the student ambassador. He enjoys hunting, fishing, and deep for roping. Trent is a civil engineering major and he plans to complete his degree at Florida State University's Panama City campus. Audra Phillips and Trent Pilcher. Our first candidate for homecoming queen is Amelia Bowers. She is a sophomore sponsored by the Trio Society. Amelia is the daughter of Namora Bowers III and Tanisha Hero of Cottonwood, Alabama. She is the president of the Trio Society and active in Black Student Union 
It's time now for the second half here from the Johnson Center. We've had the homecoming uh, festivities. Mr. Chipola and the Queen for 2023. It's time now for the second half. Indians in white, Northwest in black. The Indians lead by four. And uh, driving is Butler. He'll leave it with Bell. Bell to Aubrey, stepped on the baseline. Let's see if it's the same starting lineup. Warren, Butler, Knox, Aubrey, Bell for Chipola. Warren, Todd, Mazzara, McDaniel, and Pryor for Northwest. Crowd is thinned a little, but not a lot. Here comes Northwest with the basketball. Taryn Todd with it. Todd will give it over to Pryor. Pryor with the basketball back to Todd. Todd dribble drive all the way to the basket. Reverse layup block. Ball's loose. Picked up by Chipola's JT Warren to Aubrey coming down the floor. And he double dribbles. And Northwest will inbound. Clock never turned off. And I think the official finally saw it. During that out of bound play, may add some seconds to it. No, they're not. Back underway. Todd with the basketball. Todd will work to Mazzara. Todd. To Mazzara, baseline jumper, good for two. And he's got 17, and it's a two point ball game. Dayton Aubrey to Zach Bell. Bell to Butler. Butler to Bell. Bell in the wing. Looks down low, Warren. JT. He travels. Fell to the deck. And it will be a Northwest ball and a chance to tie or take the lead here. Todd brings it down over to Pryor. To Todd. Todd across the timeline. Top of the circle, it goes to Mazzara, to Pryor, to Mazzara. Back to Todd, baseline, shot, no, rebound, Chipola. Tay Knox with the board, Zach Bell, all the way to the basket, strong, slammed up and in on the miss, Paul Green. Green with a flush. He's got six. Indians by four. Warren to Todd. Todd at the top. Corner, prior for three, no. But a long rebound belongs uh, to Northwest. There's a jumper on its way, no by Mazzara. Rebound this time, Chipola, Zach Bell. Bell in the wing, Bell. Top of the circle, Butler goes by his man to the hoop, reverse layup, rolls out, tapped up, no. Gonna call goaltending. So offensive goaltending. The official said what it, what it means is the ball is still in the cylinder. Uh, of course, we argued it was outside the cylinder, but we don't get a vote. So Northwest will inbound if we ever get underway. Here's Warren. Warren to Todd. It's a four-point Indian game. Warren to prior over his head. We take it away. Bell. Down the floor, Aubrey, all the way to the basket. Layup tried, no, tapped up and in this time by Green. Eight for Paul, Indians by six. We play three minutes. Todd to Mazzara, back to Todd. Mazzara in the lane, down low. 
Colonel got a hand on it. Aubrey comes away with it. They foul him, no call. He's double teamed. He'll work it out here to Butler. Butler in the lane, the teardrop falls. Derek Butler with seven. Indians up by eight. Todd, student section making noise for defense. And here's Banks. Banks to Todd. Cross court, it goes to Mazzara. We fall down, he shoots it, he misses it. Pryor throws it off an Indian, and it'll be Northwest ball. Student section having fun. Baseball team is kind of stripped down to their t-shirts. The old sleeveless uh, <laughs> style from way back. Our dads wore them, if you know what I'm saying. 45-37, it's an eight point game. Northwest though with the basketball. Nye Black in the game, the young man out of Leesburg. And he will inbound, and he does so. And this is Simpkins, his jumper for three is no good. Uh, there's a foul on the floor against Chipola's Paul Green. Down in the lane, pushing. We played four minutes. JT Warren's gonna check in for our Chipola team. JT out of Tifton, Georgia. Played at Tiff County High for the Blue Devils there. Here's Northwest, inbounds to Nye Black. Nye Black played at uh, Wildwood High School when he lived in Leesburg. Turnaround jumper, no, rebound Chipola's Warren. JT's got a guard chasing him. He's gonna go the length of the floor, dish it out to Butler. Butler in the wing to Safadine. Safadine between the two circles. Pryor's giving the defense. Safadine in the wing, top of the circle it goes to Cliff Davis. In the corner, Butler. Butler with four to shoot. Davis for three, no good. Rebound belongs to Northwest. Banks to Todd. Todd gives it to Pryor. Cross court it goes to Simpkins, to Nye Black. Out front prior, left alone for three. No good, but rebound Northwest. Nye Black in the lane, won't shoot it. Out it goes to Mazzara. His shot, no. Rebound, stick back try, good. That one by Taron Todd, he's got 11. The lead is six for Chipola. Safadin. Top of the circle, Warren, Butler, Safadine. Off of Northwest, out of bounds. And we got a media timeout, 14 and a half left, Indians by six. You're watching Chipola Ball on YouTube.
Indians by six, and with the ball, Safadine has the inbound. Nearly stepped on the sideline. Top of the circle, Warren. Warren gives to Moore. Moore back to Warren. His layup is good. JT Warren was six. Indians by eight. Here comes Nyblack. Marcus Nyblack with the basketball. He's double teamed. In the corner, it goes down low now. And Northwest sticks up a shot, no tapped up and in. Good uh, by Tavion Banks. Three now for Banks. 47-41, Chipola. And this is Kendall Moore. Moore to Safadine, back to Moore. A whistle and offensive foul on Kendall. Nope, it's gonna go on Colonel. And that's his fourth. Gerald just has not been able to stay on the floor tonight due to personal fouls. And now he'll sit. He's only got one left. It's a six point ball game. Chipola by six, here comes Nyblack with it. Over he goes to Todd. Now this is Simpkins to Nyblack. Had prior open, shot it and put it in. Nye Black for two. It's a four point game. Here's Kendall Moore for Chipola. Moore top of the circle. Warren, a little shake and bake. He's in the lane. He'll spin, show, no, rebound. Rolling around, belongs to Northwest, prior. Simpkins, Pryor, Todd, down low, Nyblack, tried to feed Pryor, back out front, Todd with it, and traveling is called on Tyron Todd, <coughs> much to the dismay of Coach Steve DeMeo. He's pleading his case. 47-43, Chipola by four. 12-46 left in the game. TCC making uh, a substitute. Todd's out, Mazzara's in. Simpkins is out and Banks is in. Dayton Albury, Cliff Davis. JT Warren down it goes, missed a slam. There's a foul, foul on Pryor. Tay Knox was trying to flush it. Fouled by Pryor. Tay Knox. Let's just say Ty is trying to improve his shooting a percentage from the line has struggled this season. Knocks yet to get in the scorebook. Free throw, back rim no good. Knocks another, this one's good. It's a five point game. Chipola with the lead, Marcus Nyblack with it. Over to Mazzara. It'll go to Nyblack and he'll throw it away. Pass intended for Warren and uh, quickly zip past him and out of bounds. Indians by five. Pola in the rubber match with Northwest tonight, and we throw it away. Tried to inbound, and Aubrey zigged, and we thought zag, and didn't work out. Northwest ball. Nye Black will inbound. He does so to Pryor. Kaysen Pryor with the ball to Mazzara. 
to Nyblack, a long three, back rim, no good. Chipola rebound, Tate Knox, Safadine. Safadine, a little shake and bake in the lane, won't shoot out to Warren. He'll give it up in the corner to Cliff Davis for three, bottom of the net. Cliff's got 10. Indians by eight. Under 12 left, timeout on the floor. And it belongs to Northwest Florida. Indians by eight, 1144 is left. You're watching Chipola basketball on YouTube. Eleven forty nine left to go in the basketball game. Indians by eight. Northwest with the ball. They're in black. We're in white. This is not black. Oh, he got away with a little hop. There's a Northwest rebound. Stick back block. Ball loose. Picked up by Chipola and a foul. Nope, we're standing on the baseline. Aubrey went down and he stretched his legs out and he, apparently his heels were on the baseline. Northwest ball. Nye Black will inbound when play resumes here. Inbound it comes to Warren. Warren to Mazzara. Mazzara to Banks. Banks pull up jumper, no. Pryor, stick back, blocked by Warren. Northwest ball. Indians by eight. Nye Black inbounds, it comes to Mazzara. Nye Black, Mazzara, down to Pryor, turn around jumper, no. Rebound, Chipola, finally get the basketball. Safadine between the two circles. Safadine to Aubrey. And there's a whistle and a foul. We've played nine minutes in this second half. Indians have stretched a four-point lead to eight. Foul on the Raiders, not shooting. Chipola will inbound. Safadine will do those duties. JT Warren, Tay Knox, Dayton Aubrey, Cliff Davis, there's a lob into Dayton Aubrey and he lays it in, he's got 12. 
Indians by 10. Here comes Todd in Northwest. Taryn Todd works over to Mazzara in the far wing. Down low, that Scheider who's in the game, his hook rolls out, tap up, no good. Scheider with another try, good. Our first look at Jaden Scheider, 6'7", out of Albany, Georgia. Went to Middle Georgia Prep. It's an eight game, eight point game. This is Dayton Aubrey. Going to the basket strong, his layup's good. Dayton can take a game over at his guard spot. It's a 10 point advantage Indians, Warren for Northwest. Pull up, shoot it at the top, bottom for three, Warren. His first points of the game and it's a three timeout Northwest. 10 minutes, four seconds left to go. In the basketball game, Indians uh, by seven. You're watching YouTube. Ten oh four left to go in the basketball game. Indians will inbound. A little bit of pressure by Northwest. Aubrey in backcourt comes across half court. Dayton Aubrey from the Bahamas, sporting some lime green shoes tonight. Aubrey, Cliff Davis, NBA three short rebound. Those Safadine, his stick back try is good. Jamil Safadine now with eight. Indians by nine. Here comes Mazzara. Mazzara to Todd. Back to Mazzara. This is Todd driving, leaving it down low. Banks, layup try, no. Rebound, battled for in the short corner, won by Northwest. Warren at the top, Warren in the lane to the basket, whistle and a foul on Chipola. Nine eighteen left to go in the basketball game. This might be a media time. And I believe it is nine point lead for Chipola. Let's see if they run us off the line, run us off the court. I think we're all gonna stay. Nope, they're running them off. Nine eighteens left to go in the game. Indians by nine. You're watching Chipola basketball on YouTube.
We're back here for the final 918. And going to the line is Colin Warren. And his first free throw is up and in. Northwest is in black jerseys and shorts. Chipola's in all white. Another free throw, good. And here come some subs. Pryor's coming in back in the game for Northwest. 9-18 left. Indians by seven. Safadine will inbound. Safadine looking. Inbounds to Cliff Dave. Boy, the ball's loose and rolling out of bounds. And it's going to be Chipola ball. Wow, we got a break right there. Both uh, players, one from each team, uh, chasing after the ball on the on the floor toward that line. Chipola will inbound right in front of Northwest bench. We won't get any help over there. Safadine will inbound. Inbound to Cliff Davis in backcourt. Cliff coming down, yet across. Safadine will come across half court. Safadine works to JT Warren. JT to Cliff Davis. Davis to Safadine, who will go baseline. His shot blocked. Oh, he's really uh, uh, got to call an intentional foul because they really bent uh, Safadine over backwards, kind of. Chad Baker Mazzara. I've seen an intentional foul signal, which is you cross your hands at the wrist. So what it means is some free throws without anybody and at the, at the blocks. The officials confer. So I believe you get free throws and the ball. And it is going against Chad Baker Mazzara. Really just hammered Safadine. And uh, Safadine uh, went to the floor but was bent over uh, backwards by the force of foot number four. So I think it's a personal foul. Let me just let it sort itself out. I think it's a personal foul and an intentional. So let's see how many free throws we get out of this. Indians up by seven, 8.55 left. Coach DeMeo is trying to lobby his point over there. So I see the number two, they're saying two free throws. They're gonna to come to Safadine. He's really no worse for wear. Safadine's not a big fella in stature and girth. He's 6'6", and very quick and agile, but he, you know, he's not a weightlifter by any means. And man, he took a wallop down there. So he'll shoot free throws without anybody in the he at the free throw lane or blocks. His free throw is up, it's good. What he can do is make them pay by making them. I think he'll get two and then we get the ball or he may get two more. Free throw up, this one rims out. That's just what's gonna happen. So what happened was Safadine got two shots for being fouled. Then the intentional foul is going to be shot by Cliff Davis because your coach can choose who shoots. He makes the first one and he makes the second one. So we get three points out of that and I believe we get the ball to boot. 60 to 50. So we got three out of the four free throws and now a possession. Inbound it comes to Safadine. Top of the circle, Cliff Davis. Davis in the corner. 
JT Warren, he travels. Traveling on Warren. Dayton Aubrey's gonna try to get in the game. 8.47's left. Cliff Davis is coming out. Indians by 10. Nye Black will bring it down. Three teams tied for first on the mid side, Chipola, Tallahassee, and this Northwest team. We have split with this bunch this year, so this is the rubber match. This is Warren for Northwest. Find a man open under the basket. His shot is no good, but we foul him. Uh, Takai Simpkins. Probably will get two free throws here. 60 to 50, Chipola, 826 left. Simpkins out of Brooklyn, New York, will go the line. Free throws up, rims out no good. 64% from the line is Takai. Simpkins, free throw, back rim no good. He missed them both. Paul Green with the rebound. Safadine, Tay Knox, uh, Derek Butler, Paul Green, and Dayton Aubrey. As uh, Aubrey will take it to the hoop and he is fouled. He'll get two shots. 8.15 left. Foul on Scheider, just his first. He hadn't seen a lot of action tonight. Aubrey with 14 points at the line, free throw, back rim no good. Overall, Chipola is 69% as a team from the line. If you're Donnie Tindall, you'd like that just a little better. Aubrey makes a free throw. He's got 15 points. It's an 11 point game. Here's Pryor coming across the timeline, double team. So there's that double teaming action where we put pressure on the ball. We double team whoever has the ball. And here inbound it comes to Nye Black. Now we back out of it. Just give them a quick look change the look. Here's Warren. Nye Black, 4-3. No good. Long rebound, Chipola. Butler to Aubrey. Aubrey down the floor. Spins through the defense to the basket. No good. Rebound, Nye Black in Northwest. Football pass down the floor to Warren. He's going to be double teamed. He'll work his way out of it. Warren, corner Nye Black. Seven and a half minutes left. Nye Black to the basket, he travels. He took a Samsonite luggage piece and went that time. Indians by 11. Aubrey's out. JT Warren's in, Zach Bell's in. Bell, Green, Butler, Warren, and Moore. Butler's out. Safadine has stayed in the ball game. Kendall Moore will inbound. We got to find somebody. So we inbound it to Green. Green to Moore. Moore to Safadine across the timeline. Safadine down low we go. Shot is up and good by Paul Green. He's got 10. <coughs> 13 point Chipola game. We near seven minutes left in this game. Nye Black. Looking down low, threw it away. Threw it away, pass intended for Trayvon Bird. We were cruising along like this in the first meeting with Northwest and they applied a trapping style of defense and got right back in it and we had to survive at the end, if you remember back in early January. 
75-74, and they had a shot to win it at the end. Or at least had a possession. Moore inbounds to Safadine, and it why I'm saying it, it looks that way. The try, they're trying to trap us now. Here is Bell in the lane, out to Safadine, to Cliff Davis, 4-3. Won't go, yes it will go in. Bounced around and in. Davis with 15, Indians by 16. Here are the Raiders, Simpkins. Out to Warren. Warren for three, no good. Rebound Northwest, shot no, but we foul him down there. And that is Jaden Scheider. Jaden is 6'7", but he's 240. He's thick. He's a young man out of Albany. Free throw up, rims out. Sixteen point game. Shider. Missed them both, but the rebound should belong to us. Yes, it went off a of Raider. We got a foul. And the foul's on Chipola. Paul Green. Northwest ball, 622 left. Indians by 16. Northwest, give it up in the corner, down low. Give it to Pryor. Pryor, a blocking foul on Chipola. Dayton Aubrey's going to check back in. Kaysen Pryor goes to the line for the Northwest team. 79% shooter. Free throw good. Pryor with eight. Mazzara leads the way for Northwest with 17. Todd with 11. Chipola's got three players in double figures. 15 for Davis and Aubrey and 10 for Paul Green. Free throw, good. Pryor now with nine. Pressuring backcourt, here's Saf here's rather Aubrey, and he is gonna be mugged to the ball. And here is Northwest gonna lay it in. And there's that pressure I talked about, and we might wanna talk about that. And 6.04 is left to go in this game. Indians by 12. You're watching Chipola basketball on YouTube. Six oh four left in the game. Northwest is starting to apply that trap that gave us a fit the first game. And here's Aubrey. They force us to those corners. There's a steal. Pryor will be fouled. They force us into that corner. We have got to keep it in the middle of the floor. Pryor's going to go to the line. Six minutes left. Pryor. Free throw, good. 
He's got 12. Make it a 10 point game with a make here. And he does. Here comes the pressure again. Inbound to Safferdine. We're right back in that corner. But Moore breaks the pressure to Davis. Davis is pushed from behind. One thing, if you can break the pressure, under the basket will be open. Because they're committing so many people uh, in four court. And when they foul you, you got to make your free throws. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Not really. Non-shooting foul. We got an inbound. Safadine will do so. Sub in Nye Blacks in. Pryor's coming out. Safadine will inbound to Kendall Moore. Moore will work to Davis. They're extending the defense. JT Warren will drive, kick it to Safadine for three, and it's short, get his own rebound. Kick it out to Davis for three, rims out. Rebound, one by Chipola. Cliff Davis, Safadine. Boy, they are really putting pressure on the ball. Safadine in the lane, dishes down low, Tay Knox, foul. And Tay will go the line. 5.25 left. Aubrey's got to come back in for ball handling. Tay Knox to the line. Tay has struggled from the line this season. No time but like the present to make a couple here. We're lead by 10. We can feel momentum shifting, so make free throws are up and in. Tay now with two points. Tay will go back to the line. Free throw, rims out. Long rebound belongs to Northwest. Here they come with the ball. Mazzara to Simpkins. Simpkins in the lane, pulls up and shoots. Rims out, rebound, belongs to Chipola Moore. Double team, he will work to Aubrey. We step on the baseline. Moore stepped on the baseline over there. 11 point lead Chipola, but Northwest ball. Simpkins lobs it to Nyblack, back to Simpkins. Back to Nyblack. Over it goes to Mazzara. Banks now with it. To the basket, shot block. Long rebound though, belongs to Northwest. Bird to Mazzara. Little shot, won't go, rebound Chipola. Moore comes out of the pack with the ball all the way to the hoop. His shot's blocked. He's fouled. 4.43 left. Four fouls now on Mazzara. An immediate timeout. Indians by 11 will shoot free throws when we come back. You're watching Chipola basketball on YouTube.
4.43 left to go in the basketball game. We've kind of thrown out the anchor on this one. And going to the line for Chipola is Kendall Moore. 68% from the line is Kendall. Yet to score in tonight's game. Free throw. Still no good. Indians by 11. Let's get one of two here from Moore. It's up there, it's good. 68-56, make them work. And Moore does come up, make Nye Black pick up that ball. Nye Black, top of the circle in the lane, back out it comes to Mazzara. Pryor fakes a three, down low, shot up, good by Mazzara. He's got 19. Safadina, here comes that pressure again. They force us in that corner again. We had two guys go the same direction. And a jump ball is called, and surely the arrow's pointing to Northwest. They simply force you to the corner. And for some reason, we just can't get the ball in the middle of the floor. Simpkins will inbound to Nye Black. Long way to go. Nye Black pulls up, shoots a three, good. Six points for Nye Black. It's an eight point, make it a seven point game. We do get the ball in the middle of the floor this time, but the ball's tipped away and Northwest have it. Coming down the floor is Simpkins. Over to Mazzara. Mazzara with it. Driving, shooting, good and he's fouled. Mazzara with 21 points. And don't look now. That 16 point lead is gone. It's down to five. And Mazzara could cut it to one, could cut it to four. Baker Lazara. Free throw. Good. Four point game. 22 for Lazara. Here's inbound to Aubrey, middle of the floor. And we take it down the floor. And ball's loose, picked up by Aubrey. His shot is good. Aubrey was 17. He took it the length. He's got six points, three and a half left. Nye Black with it. He'll take it to the basket. Shot no, but we fouled him. He's going to go to the line. Nye Black to the line. Eighty-two percent from the line. Six-point game. Nye Black's free throws good. He's got seven points, but it's been Chad, Chad Mazzara, twenty-two points. Kason Pryor, thirteen points for Northwest. Chapola, Dayton Aubrey, 17, Cliff Davis, 15, Paul Green, 10. Free throw. This one no good. Rebound Aubrey, and he took a wallop to the head. Pryor sticking his hand. Lahu, me? Yes, you. We just hit him. Everybody here saw it. 70 to 65. Thing is, hardly any time is leaving this clock. Northwest is extending the game. <laughs> the only way to make them pay is make your free throws, keep it in the middle of the floor, take it to the basket. Somebody's open. Aubrey at the line. Free throw, good. 18 for Dayton. Six point game. Make another Dayton. Free throw, bottom. Play defense guys. Seven point game, make them earn it. Prior. over it goes to Nablack. 
Back to Pryor. In the corner it goes Simpkins for a three. Good. He's got five points, 317's left. The game is a four point game. Uh, Chipola, timeout on the floor. You're watching Chipola basketball on YouTube. Three seventeen left to go in the game. Chipola will inbound under fer ferocious pressure by Northwest. Chipola's in white, Northwest in black. And looking to inbound, we got it to Moore. He'll come along the boundary and break the pressure all the way to the basket through the hands of J.T. Warren. Ball back to Northwest. Inbounds, it comes to the black. Moore makes him pick up the dribble. Now black. Top of the circle, pull up. Noel he'll dish it down low, lay up good. It's a two point game. Banks for two, 72-70. Moore will inbound to Aubrey. Aubrey along the baseline, or sideline. He's double teamed to Safadine. Just settle down right here, guys. Moore double teamed is JT Warren, and he'll throw it away. And here comes Northwest. Northwest in the black, two point game. 2.30 left. The black pulls up and shoots it for the tie. No, rebound Chipola. And then Aubrey's another intentional foul. This one by the black pushes. Uh, Aubrey down. I mean, just nails him in the back. Aubrey had cleared the rebound, and the black just, uh, I don't know if it was a forearm or a push, because Aubrey was facing me. They may eject him. Another, in, how many, I tell you, I don't know how many games I've covered and never see an intentional foul. And you see two in one game. Dayton Aubrey goes to the line. This may help us get a little bit of a cushion. We can make some free throws. The pressures wore us ragged. Free throws up and in. 20 now for De Dayton Aubrey. Free throw, back rim, no good. Three point lead. I believe it's going to be our ball. And the black will check out of the game. Let's see if we can get it inbounded. Paul Green down the floor to Cliff Davis. They double us, take it away from us. And here come the Raiders. 
Over it goes to Banks. They don't quit the pressure once you break it. They double in the ball. Just take it away from us. Prior for three and a tie. No and a foul, and he's going to the line for three free throws. Seems like the clock is not even working. 2.01 left. Pryor at the line. Excellent marksman. Free throw. Good. I was hoping I jinxed him. 14. Two point game. Free throw, this one misses. Pryor with another free throw. Two minutes left. Could make it a one point game and he does. Seventy three, seventy two. Pryor made two of three, Indians by one. There we are in that corner again. Aubrey double team, works to green. DeMore, boy, they're just waves of them. See like, and we throw it away. It just seems like there's more than five on the floor. And we seem to be just like uh, the ball is hot. And we gotta get it out of our hands. Credit uh, Northwest with this, uh, this scheme that they got. We saw it in the first game. And here it is again. And here comes Northwest. It's a one point Indian game. And this is Todd, top of the circle. In the corner prior. Here comes Northwest driving, shooting for the lead. Nope, traveling is called. Traveling on Northwest. 73-72. One thirty-eight left. Here comes the pressure again. Safadine trying to inbound it. Everybody's on one end of the floor. Aubrey, double team. He'll work middle floor to Paul Green. Green will come down, leave it down low. And there's a shot up and in by JT Warren. We needed that. It's a three-point game. I wondered if we shouldn't apply pressure to them. But we back into our half court set defensively. Here's Todd in the lane, fakes one way, shoots, scores, two point game. 13, here's pressure. Safadine gets to Aubrey. It's a one point game and one minute left. Aubrey all the way to the basket, layup good. Aubrey's got 22 and he's fouled. Heavyweight fight here tonight. I mean, the whistle is blowing on each end, so the clock is not gonna move. 57 seconds left. It's just a three possession game, a one possession game, a three point lead. 77, 74. Aubrey could give us a four point lead right here. Aubrey's free throw, bottom. 23 for Dayton. And we back off. And here comes Todd. Clock's on the move now. 78-74 Indians. Todd, top of the circle. Over it goes to Mazzara. To Pryor in the lane. Behind the back pass to Mazzara. Simpkins nearly travels. Cross court stolen by Cliff Davis. Down the floor, Paul Green. Layup try, good. Green with 12. 30 seconds left, the lead is six. Listen to the crowd. And a whistle, and I believe we've got a timeout. Timeout on the floor. 29 seconds left. And there's no timeout. The official saw something with the clock he wants changed. I'm not sure. 
I was watching the action, not the clock. And two of the three officials come over to the scores table. 27 seconds left. Indians have broken the pressure and gotten uh, action around our hoop. A lot of times when you apply pressure for, like Northwest have you run yourself out. But uh, that has not been the case. So it's 80 to 74 Chipola. 27 seconds left in the ball game. And they're still at the scorer's table. Our ladies fell tonight, so the men trying for a split. And we're also trying to win the rubber match with Northwest. But I can tell you, to get with the state tournament being in Niceville and Northwest probably making the tournament, You'll have to beat them again somewhere down the line. Someone will have to beat them. Twenty-seven seconds left. If we don't get through, I'm gonna miss the news. <laughs> Eighty to seventy-four. Northwest ball on the side. Let's get us a stop here. Shot clock off. Northwest with the ball. It inbound to Pryor. Pryor works to Mazzara. Pull up, shoot a three. No good. Rebound, though, Northwest. They get a two out of uh, Todd. He's got 15. It's a four-point game with 21 seconds left, so we got to get the ball inbounded. 21 seconds left. Timeout on the floor. Four-point game. Chipola, you're watching YouTube. Twenty-one seconds left. Chipola's got to get the ball inbounded. Northwest will probably foul us if they don't get a steal. There's a down court pass. It's stolen. Northwest with it with 19. Simpkins shake, bake to the basket, put it up. No, tapped it up. No, rebound. Out of bounds. Who's it belong to? Chipola ball. Wow, we tried a long down court pass, but they intercepted, if you will. Missed a couple shots down close. 12 seconds left. 80, 76, Chipola. We've got to get it inbounded. Here it comes to Aubrey. He'll spin out of trouble. Dayton will be fouled. And go to the line with 8.8. .8. A couple makes here. And this kettle of fish might be salted away for another day. <laughs> 80 to 76, Chipola. How about a couple makes from Dayton? Aubrey, 23 points for Aubrey. 15 for Cliff Davis, 12 for Paul Green, 9 for Jamil Safadine. Free throw. Oh, it won't stay down. Some of the crowd trying to get near the exit so they can get out of here. This has been a long evening. Next up. Uh, Broadcast will be next Saturday. Free throws up and in. We do play on Wednesday, but it's on the road in Pensacola. Here is uh, Northwest, and they will lose the ball out of bounds. 5.3 left, and the Indians can feel it now. We may have survived a, another game with Northwest. Timeout on the floor, 5.3, 81-76. We'll have the finish on YouTube momentarily.
Chipola will try to get an inbound to a 5.3 left. Let's see if we got a play on. And we do got an inbound, and either we, there's a timeout or a five second. It's a five second call, Northwest ball. Just could f not find anyone to inbound it to. Northwest ball. Chipola by five with five seconds left. So if we can hold on here, stranger things have happened. Todd will inbound. He finds Simpkins. He'll shoot a three. It's no good, but we fouled him. My goodness. I think they're going to put some more time on the clock. We have fouled him. Going to get three free throws. It's really going to depend how much time they put back on the clock. Going to the line is Takai Simpkins. And now they got to decide how much time. Clock kept running. There was a foul. It was 5.2 when they inbounded the ball. So 3.3 is what it's going to be. 3.3. But three free throws. And here comes Takai Simpson. <laughs> Simpkins at the line for three free throws. First one's up, good. Free throw up and in. Thank you, Sandy. Keeping me posted with a lot of things tonight. Two more free throws from Simpkins. Good. Well, simply put, guys, we've got to get the ball inbounded. It's going to be a two-point game. Quite possibly already three. A steal and a shot. We're in trouble. 3.3 3 left. How about a miss, Mr. Simpkins? No such luck. He makes all three. Two-point game with 3.3 3 left. Can we get it inbounded? Here it comes to Moore, and Moore is fouled with two point two seconds left in the game. We need a couple free throws here, Kendall. Kendall Moore going to the line. Here's the situation, two point game. We're on the line, two seconds left, Kendall Moore. Just one point for him tonight. One for two from the line. Two free throws, it may be over. Free throw up, good. Now a three can only tie you, unless you foul. A make here and get away from it. Kendall Moore at the line. Make it, Kendall. Free throws up. Bottom. Big free throws for Kendall Moore. Pryor will look to inbound. He will throw it in. Do not foul. And traveling is called with 0 0.6. Four-point game. We got a traveling infraction out of Northwest. And that's the ball game. 83 for Chipola, 79 for Northwest. Chipola now 7-2 and two in conference. Northwest 6-3. and three. I want to thank Jalen and Eric. I'm Russell. Chipola wins 83-79. So long, sports fans.